For this project, we're going to be installing a septic tank riser. Here's the lid of my septic tank, and uh, after calling the septic company to, to do the periodic pumping here, they said that they would not pump because the cover was more than 12 inches below grade. Apparently in the state of Connecticut, laws have changed, and the cover must be less than 12 inches below grade. As we can see, my lid is just over 12 inches. Great. So, dug it up, measured the lid, and it looks like we are about a 20 inch lid, 21 inches. Now that we measured the septic opening and it was 20 inches in my case i bought a riser kit brand is tough tight and in my case i ended up with a looks like five six seven inch uh, riser that's going to bring my cover right up to where it needs to be so here we're at about seven inches which is perfect uh, as the cover is 12 inches below grade. And so now what we're going to do is clean the perimeter of the cover. So that way this sill plate, this adapter ring, I believe it's called an adapter ring, will have sufficient room to rest on the outside. You can see that it does not quite fit with all the extra dirt. binding on the cover so once I remove the cover it'll sit flatter. To assemble the riser to the adapter ring this can only go on in one direction and we know which way it goes because of these screw holes that tie into the openings on the adapter ring. If we were to install it this way there'd be no way for us to secure the adapter ring to the riser. On the riser on this bottom edge there is a gap. This is where it connects to the adapter plate. We're going to use roofing tar to seal this connection. Once this is in place and we screw it in with the supplied stainless steel screws, we can add the domed cover. The domed cover includes a piece of caulking foam inside so we don't need roofing tar for that. So let's go ahead and apply the caulking to the adapter ring. It's just regular roofing tar. Now, we can install the riser on the adapter plate. Now that it's on, I'm going to turn the riser so the holes line up. Press firmly. Now, 
we'll wipe down this adapter ring. And we're going to apply healthy bead of caulking all on this adapter ring. It looks like we are out of clock. That should be sufficient. Now we will remove the cover. Centering the riser. Left right twist. Firmly seated. Now I'll start to fill in some dirt around the edges, and I'm not going to cover it completely at this point. I filled in some of the dirt. The septic company is coming in about a week, so there's no sense in putting the rest of the dirt and the sod back in. And to that, mat, to that end, I'm just going to hold the lid down with, with just two screws. I think I should be fine. Make sure no one gets in here, no critters get in. So I've lined up the screw holes with the holes on the riser. And that's it. Job done.